Riverside Healthcare puts the health and wellness information you need well within reach. Today we are talking to Dr. Alex Herskovic. Dr. Herskovic is a radiation oncologist at the Riverside Cancer Institute. Doctor, welcome to the podcast. Uh, thanks. I'm happy to be here. Now let me start by asking a little bit about your background. Where are you originally from? Uh, I'm originally from the uh, Chicago area. I grew up in the western suburbs. Ah, w- which suburb? Uh, LaGrange. LaGrange. Did you go to LT? Uh, no, that's where I would have gone. I actually went to a Catholic high school called Fenwick, which is in Oak Park. Oh, Fenwick. Sure. Very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to Downers North, and, and LT was in our conference, big rival. So I'm glad to hear you didn't uh, okay. go to LT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we weren't rivals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, for schooling, where did you, where did you uh, get your education? Um, so I completed uh, my undergrad- undergraduate degree at uh, Duke University uh, in North Carolina. Uh, I went to Northwestern in Chicago for medical school. Uh, I completed my residency training at um, Wild Cornell Medicine. So that's the Cornell University Medical Center, which is actually in New York City, not in Ithaca. And um, then I moved back to the uh, Chicago area after residency. Wow, oh, very good. So I've been been around the country, landed back in uh, Kankakee and Bourbonnais, and we're glad for that. And doctor, let me ask a little bit about why you chose uh, radiation oncology. Um, you know, uh, as a radiation oncologist, uh, I get to, to uh, be there for people uh, in a very difficult time in their lives, and I find that to be very rewarding. Um, you know, a lot of my job is, is just to listen um, and, uh, you know, sometimes be a, a shoulder to cry on, but also try to give people um, a hopeful outlook because uh, there's a lot of great technology and a lot of great treatment we can do now. Uh, and radiation oncology sort of combines that human aspect of medicine with um, uh, a lot of advanced technology that we can use to very accurately target tumors now while minimizing side effects from radiation therapy. Yeah, and that's specifically what we're going to talk about today, uh, the Discovery RT system, which is something that does just that. Why don't you talk a little bit about what uh, the Discovery RT system actually is? Sure. So, you know, I'm happy to have that uh, uh, new piece of equipment in our department. Um, The Discovery RT system, uh, the most important thing it does is it allows us to do a very accurate CT simulation. So the CT simulation is the first uh, part of uh, treatment planning for radiation therapy. Uh, Patients get a a CT scan with this machine in our department, and um, we use special molds to allow patients to to lay in a a very reproducible position, and the Discovery RT system, uh, you know, rebuilds uh, the images that it takes um, for our radiation treatment. Uh, planning software um, and can give us, uh, uh, you know, a very accurate uh, uh, view of the tumor and allow us to design a, a plan that's as safe as possible. Yeah. So as you said, being able to really pinpoint where that radiation is going during the treatment process really is a benefit to the patient. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, you know, all about what radiation oncology is about now is, is um, you know, maximizing dose to the tumor and minimizing dose to surrounding healthy tissues as much as possible. Yeah. Now, are all patients candidates for this system, or are there some some uh, some patients with, with whom it, it does or doesn't work better? You know, pretty much all patients in radiation oncology um, get a CT simulation as part of their treatment planning now. Um, there are a few situations, you know, for example, for small skin cancers um, where, well, you can see the tumor with your eyes. It's a skin cancer, so we don't necessarily do a CT simulation for that, but I would say 99% of our patients uh, would get a CT simulation with the Discovery RT system if they're if they're seen in our department. Oh. Now, the the benefit of, of really pinpointing and and um, not impacting the healthy tissue and organs around the, the the where the site of the cancer is that's the primary benefit. Are there other are there additional benefits of the RT system? Um, yeah, so it has some other uh, more advanced features than that uh, all prior equipment had. So it's a wide bore CT scan. Um, pretty simple concept, but it's just it's a it's a wider opening in the CT scanner, which not only is more comfortable for the patient, but allows us to do uh, um, radiation setups where we can um, uh, really minimize uh, those beams passing through normal tissue. So you know I'm particularly excited that this uh, Discovery RT system allows me to offer prone breast radiotherapy for more of our breast cancer patients which uh, really, really helps us to uh, reduce heart to the, uh, radiation dose to the heart and lungs, which uh, in the past was more of a problem in radiation oncology, but it's something we can really minimize now. Wow, that sounds like a huge benefit, um, you know, 
keeping keeping radiation away from the vital vital organs. And although I'm not a doctor, I, I I know the heart is indeed a vital organ. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pretty important one. E- even marketing guys know that's the case. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And um, the idea of collaboration in oncology is is probably an important one. I know you've got a great team there at the Riverside Cancer Institute, um, but but the collaboration between you and the other providers uh, is something that's an important part of, of the patient's uh, the patient's care journey, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, cancer care by uh, definition is really multiple dis- multiple uh, disciplinary. Um, you know, there's three main uh, ways to treat uh, cancer, surgery, radiation, chemotherapy. There's a separate doctor for each. And, um, you know, the medical, the uh, chemotherapy doctors and medical oncologists, they work right around the corner from me so I can touch base with them on a daily basis on um, you know, uh, all of our patients. Oh. Now, Doctor, you um, haven't been out of school all that long, but but it's, I, it's, I think it's interesting that you're already able to see some new technology that's coming in from the time you started your schooling to now being a couple years in practice. Um, ha- have you seen uh, indications that there, there, is, there are constant advancements that are going to be happening in, in cancer care? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, that's one of the things I neglected to mention that drew me to oncology is it's something that always changes. You know, it's uh, 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 it's really an important uh, uh, battle to fight. And um, uh, radiation oncology is about being at the, the, the cutting edge of that and uh, really uh, offering patients uh, translating technology to the best cancer care possible. Yeah. I've had the... the uh the pleasure of being able to hear um, Dr. Sapahi speak, one of the the other oncologists there at the at the institute. He's had a long, uh, wonderful career uh, in oncology, and um, you know, he talks about just how amazing the, uh, the the technology and all around oncology care has advanced during over the course of his career. And I'm sure um, he's excited to see someone like you come in and get that same those same advantages to see uh, where cancer care is headed. Yeah, you know, uh, and, and Dr. Zapaghi is a great oncologist. Uh, um, you know, I think all the medical oncologists here are great. I'm happy to, to work with them, and they give me a, a, a sort of um, a, a great example for me to follow in my own practice. Yeah, that's, that's great to hear. Now, just to recap about the Discovery RT system, again, this system, which is being now is in use at the Riverside Cancer Institute, uh, really gives you an opportunity to focus that cancer treatment on, on the site and and not affect healthy tissue and organs around. Isn't That's really the, the key to this new technology. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that really helps us to, to maximize patient outcomes. And doctor, if folks want to learn more about um, about all that you have to offer there. Where where can they go? Um, so they can uh, go to our website, which is riversidehealthcare.org/cancer, or they can call us at our uh, general uh, oncology number. Can reach all of our oncology providers that way. The number there is eight one five nine three three nine six six zero. Very good. Well, doctor, thank you for all the information you shared. 